Good morning students. Today we are going to have discussion on the poem Sonnet 29. Sonnet 29 is written by the famous writer William Shakespeare. Now let me tell you about William Shakespeare. He was born in 1564 and died in 1616. He was born at Stratford-upon-Avon, Warwickshire, England. He is a renowned English dramatist, poet and actor. He lived and worked during the rule of Queen Elizabeth I of England. And you all know, today William Shakespeare is regarded, he is universally regarded, one of the greatest dramatists of all time. William Shakespeare studied at grammar school at Stratford-upon-Avon and this great writer, today people call him the national poet of England and the bard of Avon. He wrote 37 plays and 154 sonnets. And you know very well that his plays have been translated into many languages across the globe. And you know what Ben Johnson has said about William Shakespeare? He had said, William Shakespeare was not of an age, but for all time. So this is very much relevant that in each and every century we see that his plays and his sonnets are studied in different countries. His 37 plays are divided into four categories histories, comedies, tragedies and romances. And some of his famous plays are Hamlet, King Lear, Macbeth, Othello, The Merchant of Venice and The Tempest. William Shakespeare contributed significantly to poetry. He wrote 154 sonnets and his long poems include Venice and Adonis and the rape of Lucrece. This great writer married Annie Hathaway and he worked as an actor in London. Today his plays and poetry are the subject matter of study or interpretation and research. And when we read his plays, when we read his poetry, we see how William Shakespeare has talked about the philosophy of life and it appeals to the human heart. And you know that you have studied the poem All the World is a Stage that is taken from as you like it. Even if you take the very simple example of this poem as you like it, William Shakespeare, through his character Jack Wiss, presents the philosophy of life and says that all the world is a stage and all the men and women are merely players. So this great writer of all the times compared the world to a stage. And you know what he has said about the men and women that they are merely players. It does mean they have their entrances and they have their exits. And as per the will of the God, that is the director, they make their entry into this world and they make their exit. So today, our focus is going to be on Sonnet 29 in the next part of our lecture.